Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Mower Man, and welcome to my channel. In this video today will be my little Riley boy, and the top plonker conker has turned up today with his um, Atco Commodore B17, which you stole off of a lady. No, no, no you were given it, didn't you? You, 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 you were given it. gave it to me, yeah. 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 So it was her husband who passed away, and this was his pride and joy. Um, you got it all running, uh, but it runs like an absolute pig, doesn't it? Hunts and surges, yeah? yeah? Starts first time, runs, but it just surges like you would not believe. Okay, uh, Makuni carb on top. Uh, you've had a carburetor off. I know you had problems with the main jet. You couldn't get that out, but uh, you've managed to retrieve the main jet and what have you. So carburetor has been overhauled. Um, and you've had to adjust for tick over to make it so it doesn't hunt as bad. Yeah. Uh, new throttle cable's gone on, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's brought it down to me today, I don't know quite why, um, to try and get this engine to run a bit smoother if he can. Um, so hopefully with a maybe a carburetor clean, a tune again and what have you, we might better find what's the issue. No parts have been added to this machine or taken off and no, the fiddle ferries have not been in. So um, hopefully, uh, the, the, the story is, is this is his pride and joy and it used to run as sweet as a nut. So the question is, why doesn't it now? So that's why it's here. If like. <laughs> So this is what happens when you bring two people in here that shouldn't be in here. <laughs> if you want more videos from Mixed Miles and Mower Man, hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell. <laughs> Ding. Set your notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time up another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's try and get Top Plonkers Conkers lawnmower up and running as it should. Rightio, so I think the first thing we need to do is we need to fire it up and um, just try and slacken off some of the adjustments um, on here. So I want a little tiny, tiny, tiny flat-headed screw, oh. screw, I said flat-headed screwdriver. How do you do that? That one should do it. So there are some adjustments to be had on this machine. Um, to enable it to, to run a bit better, but I have a sneaky feeling the hunting and surging is generally associated with poor fuel or poor fuel delivery. Mm. So Conga has wound the tick over idler screw all the way in. We're gonna just retrieve that out a bit Why? so that we can allow it to, to, to idle a lot lower than what it should do. So I want the machine to be set pretty much where it needs to be. So pretty much factory, factory settings. So let's start that up then, Conk. Daddy. Bit of choke, a bit of throttle there. It might not need no choke, but we have had it running already, haven't we? Yeah. Um, we'll leave a choke off for now. Fuel on. Yeah, fuel's on. It's fueled on or off? Daddy. It's on there. Fuel's on, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Mummy home. Oh, go and see mummy then, mate. Go on, there you go. I'd rather fire this up without you in the shed anyway. <laughs> bit of choke, maybe. Okay, choke off.
So yeah, so we want to we want to just want to adjust the throttle so that it does actually shut off shut on its own. Onto that. Um, in there, yeah, what we, you, there's several ways you can do it. You can just actually just, just bend that upper touch just so it makes a connection. Mm. But is that, you reckon that's it? Well, I don't that's know. A mix, that's, is that a mixture screw? Yeah. So, quite possibly, you've just driven an hour and a half, <laughs> an hour and a half uh, down to me, so I could turn your, your fuel mixture screw out uh, about three quarters of a turn. There is a reason why they call you Top Plonker. <laughs> but the, the book says it's seven eighths. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Books is about rules and regulations. Yeah. Rules and regulations are there to be broken and bent. So how much, how much have you come out of that? So I don't know. But but see, I'm, I'm, I'm tuning to ear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if we if we just have a look, I, re I reckon without 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 doing it, I reckon about two and a quarter, one and one, maybe just two. Let me get a better screwdriver, Conk, because that, that screwdriver is not actually brilliant. I want a slightly better screwdriver. And if it's pulling faces behind me, I can always edit that out, like you are now. So uh, half. One, half, two, two. Yeah. Half, one, half, two. Well, if it, the only thing we can do is to fire it up again. We've, we've put some juicing, it's very low on juice anyway. Mm -hmm. And what we don't want to be doing is um, um, simulating low low juice, so we'll put some fuel on it. The other thing I will say with, with, with these style of engines are, is that this little tiny fuel line, there's a little tiny air bubble in air conk. You see it? Yeah, see it. So sometimes what I do is, I will take that that fuel line off. Mm -hmm. Okay, get rid of an air bubble. Right. Okay. Um, let the fuel drain out and then put the fuel hose back on. Or you can just flood flood the bottom of the carburetor off, which will bring the fuel down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes uh, they do get a bit of an air bubble in, and the, the initial start up can can tell you that you've got a fuel problem. Because there's a drain screw at the bottom of the car. Uh, up here, mate. Yeah. So what you do is you, you turn you turn your fuel tap off. Okay. You then drain your carb, right? right? So there's no fuel in there at all now. And then um, with your carb, with your screw left out, you can then turn your fuel on. The fuel comes down. Once you get fuel into the bowl, you mm -hmm. then you then um, do a screw up, and it just fills up with no air bubble. Okay. Yeah, because this line only just fits it's, uh, onto the tap there. Yeah, it just fits onto the tap there, <laughs> where it's supposed to. <laughs> I don't know, Con, I don't know what to tell you. I was all set up. I've got the ultrasonic cleaner here standing by with hot, hot water ready to go. I thought we were going to come down and, and get down dirty. We're only getting down here. There's no getting dirty, <laughs> is there? <laughs> so what we do is we're going to... Um... I'm just chuffed you got it to go, quite frankly. Because hmm. I'm... I could, cause I, to be fair, I only thought that the mixture jet, I followed the settings in the book. That's yeah. all I've done. You've got to remember um, on, on these machines, although, although the settings say uh, one and a quarter turn, one and a quarter turn is, is, is a rule of thumb, in my opinion. Even on two strokers, one and a quarter turn should get the machine to start. Yep. Anything, strimmer, whacker, whatever you've got, should get it to start. Now, if you've got a hunting and surging issue, then like I say to you, that's fuel delivery issue. Now that's telling me we're not getting enough fuel coming through. Now if a carburetor has been cleaned over the years or the carburetor is dirty, it may be struggling. And the same with a diaphragm machine. If a diaphragm is a little bit stiff and not flexing as it should do, yeah. it needs a bit more fuel. So all I've done here is that's saying, I'm hunting, I'm surging, I'm not very happy, I'm not getting this significant amount of fuel that I need, I need more fuel. And all I've done, literally, is just gave it more fuel. Sure. Now this could have an adver adverse effect. Um, you could find that your spark plug's getting very, very choked up very quick. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's not actually the fault. I'm just uh, allowing the machine to run better, but your spark plug may show a bit later on, actually um, are having too much fuel. Okay. And your carburetor could be at fault. And you did say that your main jet was, was, was knackered. 
um, and you have problems getting that out. So the carby could be on its way. It is a Makuni carb, they're not the best carbs, carbs in the world. So my advice to you is, is we'll take it outside, we'll fill up with fuel, take it outside, and we'll run it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get it all running, because obviously if it, that's just revving. We want to see what, what it's doing under load with the cylinder engaged and the drive engaged. Mm -hmm. It may still present the same issues, in yeah. which case we then have to tune it again. Now lots of the older style Suffolk punch style carburetors. In fact, I've got one here. Let me just grab that. <clears throat> Uh, I think I threw it in my box just the other week because I, I, I didn't even want, want to stare at it. I think it's in, in here. Is that it? Made in made in Wuhan. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. So this one here, this is off of a uh, Decumps, which fit the Suffolk punches and all that sort of stuff. On the bottom of these, you have you have this this jet. This jet here is that jet there. Okay, and all that right. does is that just allows more fuel in, and uh, and and decreases the fuel. And sometimes on these older machines, you have it running lovely on the garden, you go to power it up, and it hunts and surges like an absolute pig. And just by you know, a little tiny quarter mm -hmm. tweak, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it then runs lovely for cutting your grass. When you idle it, it runs like a pig again, so you have to, you have to retweak it. So, so some of it, that's why I'm not a fan of these, because you, you're forever fine tuning. Yeah. But that's running lovely now. Well, it's running as, as, as well as to be expected for a machine of this age. So what we're going to do is, We'll take this outside, we'll put some more fuel in. Uh, what plug you got in there? It's brand new. Oh, oh, it's a B6S, yeah. yeah. I, thought, I thought it was a, a long reach plug from it. Um, we'll take it outside, put some fuel in it, top it up. Um, that'll be five pound, because the fuel's two pound a litre. Um, checks in the post. Checks in the post, I've, not, I've yet to see one check. Um, <laughs> and we'll run it, we'll, we'll engage the cylinder, um, we'll engage the drive, see what it's doing then, and see about the fine tune again. But literally, you know, if you sell this machine and it, and it, you might have to say to a customer, and generally the people who, who run these machines, they generally have a little bit of savvy about them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what you might have to say to them is, is that with this, with this lawnmower, I'm gonna give you <laughs> one of these. Me. And every now and again, you might have to yeah. just have a little tiny tinker with that. You know, it's just a, it's, it's a fine mix of screw. So let's take it outside. Conker may have driven an hour and a half, and you were late, uh, hour and a half this way, uh, to go an hour and a half back, just so I can turn his screw. <laughs> right, let me grab a flat-ended driver, and we'll go for another five. Now, we have just adjusted um, the dead man's cable because it wasn't shutting off when it should be, so we have just adjusted that. But I'm just gonna grab a just gonna grab a uh, flathead. Hi, buddy. Daddy. Just wanna. Uh, Daddy. Just wanna grab a flathead. <laughs> grab. Daddy. Yeah. YouTube. Something wrong with YouTube? Yeah. Let me let me sort this first, and then I'll come back to you. What? How's that sound? What's your name? This is Conker's lawnmower. Is it one? Does it run? Yes. We're about to find out. Well, that's debatable. Right, out of the way, you. I don't, I, don't, I don't need you. What's that? Fiddle fairying. That's a throttle. Right, out of the way, boy. Out of the way, boy. Come on. I'm gonna keep, keep an eye where you are. <laughs> right, we'll choke it again. No, no go stand by conk, please. Come here, mate. Come um, so we might have to do a, a few adjustments. Yeah, you might have an air bubble going through there, yeah? See that?
one thing to remember with these is that generally, when you pull that in, if you're going like a whip it across the old lawn, yeah. just bring it down a touch, right? And you better tell by the engine. Quite quick. Quite quick. And now, does it stop? Now it stops. As it should do. As it should do. Yeah. Yeah. Is that blade hitting the bar, you think? Or is that... You, you saw that cut yeah, in there, mate? Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. No. For what it is, okay, I'll be honest with you, they're not worth a lot of money, mm -hmm. okay? It's cutting grass. It's doing what it should do. You got it for nothing. You've only bought a cable for it, Fiverr. Yeah. Out it as it is. It's running as it is. It does cut grass. Jobs are good, mate. <laughs> As always, checks in the post. So just remember, you might need to do just fine tune from time to time. Yeah. Anyway, that's Conker's um, lawnmower now, all up and running. Yeah, there may be a little tiny bit of surging in there now and again, but as I say, the second I adjusted that screw back in, you heard it, that, yeah. that violent, that violent um, noise, just tweak it out and level it. Um, and you'll, you'll find a happy medium. When you're using this type of machine, as I say, the newer ones now, they're not so much uh, direct drive. You haven't got to have them on full chat and you're not running up the garden like a whippet. Yeah, yeah. Um, off with me. <laughs> did, did, uh, did Mrs. H have a go, did she? Uh, no, she can't be trusted. Okay, yeah. Um, so I would recommend running at about half throttle, but you want enough just to make sure you get enough clip rate on the, on the cylinder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, otherwise, you have it running at full chat, you're, 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 you're cutting. You're, cut, you're covering too much lawn too quick and it's not cutting quick enough. So mm -hmm. run at about three quarters. You can also govern that back as well on that other screw you showed, you showed, you showed me. This little screw just here. Yes, yes. Yeah, so you can just set it to, to whereabouts you think it is and then just set that screw down so that's, that, that's as far as it mm -hmm. goes. But now we've adjusted the throttle so it now stops when you want it to, more importantly. It now runs, cuts, drives, cylinder, no hunting surging. <laughs> you will chuffed, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you drove 120 miles each way so I could turn your screw in just a little tiny bit. Right, let's go and have some lunch. Conquest bought some Cornish pasties with him and uh, we're going to sit there, have a lunch, meet Conk and Riley Boy and fill our little bellies up. Thank you for watching this episode of Mixed Mows and Mower Man. Um, if you like this sort of video, give us a quick little thumbs up, subscribe to the old channel. Don't forget, hit the old bell button as well, Riley Boy. Ding. <laughs> and that way you'll be told next time we upload another video. Look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon, guys. Until then, more importantly, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs>